Do you like shopping? Because I like shopping. Here's how to get rewarded for doing that. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhys. Thank you so much for being here. And in this episode, we're talking about loyalty programs and rewards cards. Loyalty programs, reward programs, what are they? They're basically incentives for you to spend money with the same business over and over and over and over for teeny tiny rewards. But the rewards can be good sometimes and it's definitely something to consider, especially if you shop there regularly. The idea in general is pretty simple. Businesses want you to spend money there, so they offer rewards in return. I made a list of all the places that I shop regularly, at least once a week, and that generally came in the form of a supermarket or a chemist or one of my favorite department stores. And what I did was I went onto their websites, I contacted them, I even just went in and asked if they had loyalty programs or rewards programs, and it turns out most of them do. What I then did was kind of look up what they offer in return for spending money with them, and I found out a couple of the criteria that I'm gonna go through a little bit later in this video, and decided to sign up with them. One massive thing I found was a lot of them convert your points that you earn to airline miles. And at the moment, some airlines definitely aren't giving back the greatest return in the world, but some definitely still have value to their points. And it's definitely worth doing if it's not gonna cost you anything in the long run. What's so good about these loyalty programs and rewards programs? Some companies offer card holders special deals or discounts because they are with the rewards program or signed up to the loyalty program. And this often will give benefits to that person for signing up just for having an account in general. And like I said just before, some partner with other big companies or airlines and give you points where you can build towards something like a free flight somewhere just for doing your regular grocery shopping. I'll give you one example, which is I shop at a local supermarket, which every $2,000 that I spend, I gain 2,000 points. Now, that seems like a lot of money for quite a small amount of points. I think a flight to, from where I live here in South Australia to Melbourne is about 44,000 points per person, but that's a return flight. But I do my shopping at the supermarket anyway, so why not collect the points? And what I've actually worked out is I've saved around about 30,000 points just from doing my shopping over the past couple of years. It's no detriment to me to actually do this, but it gives me the opportunity to fly somewhere pretty much for cheaper than it would normally cost me because I can put points towards that flight to reduce the cost of it. It's a no-brainer. And saying that there are some downsides to rewards programs and loyalty programs. One good example being that you have to spend a lot to gain very little. So, like I said, the only reason why you would sign up to one of these programs is because you're gonna be shopping there anyway. You're going to be regularly going and spending money at this place. Another one is if you're not really a big spender, let's say you're only spending $20 a week there, the points over time really might not accrue that quickly. You may be signed up to the program, but never actually get anything of value out of it. So it's something that you have to consider when looking for these types of programs and loyalty rewards programs. And the last one I'm gonna cover is privacy. Generally signing up to these programs, you're gonna give your information about your shopping habits to these companies where they could technically target you to buy things that you would be more susceptible to buy. Be very aware of this, and if you have a little bit of discipline, you shouldn't get caught out by this. When you sign up, what I recommend doing is adding your card or your loyalty program award number to your phone, carrying the card with you regularly, and just getting into the habit of swiping it every time you go to that place to do your shopping. Another thing, if you have family members who shop at the same place but aren't interested in the rewards program is to put that rewards number on their phone. My parents actually do their shopping at the same supermarket and I've given them the same account number to basically double up on points. They're not gonna use those points, they don't travel very often, but it's valuable to me and if they're spending a large sum of money very regularly at this same store, it's just gonna skyrocket. A couple of rules that you definitely should be following is if it costs something to be on that loyalty program, I probably wouldn't sign up to it. Most are free. If they're gonna charge you a membership, make sure that you're gonna get your money out of it. Make sure that you're gonna get value out of it. And the most important one is don't spend to earn points. Earn points because you were going to spend. The overall benchmark there is that the points are worthless in the long run. If you never had them in your life, they, it doesn't matter if they're not there or not. The only reason you're going to get them, the only reason you're wanting to get them is because you would have had to spend that money anyway. That's the mindset that you need to get in when going onto these programs. So in short, if you're doing it anyway, get rewarded but don't change your spending habits hugely on the fact that you're going to earn points. As long as it's not really taking anything away from you, I would definitely be promoting it. So go local, go to all your big supermarkets, figure out which ones offer the programs and basically get loyal. 
there's no recommendation as to which one's the right one for you. You should be able to do at least a search of the top five places that you spend. You can do as many as you want or as little as you want. It's, it doesn't really matter in the end. It's just something that I have actually gained value from doing over the past couple of years where using the airline example as the greatest example, I've actually flown two places just because I did my supermarket shopping every week. I wish you good luck on your journey. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next one.